Okay, so we'll have a look at the inside of the shelter. Uh, at the moment, we have rolled up the outer door and also the inner um, splash curtain as well. They, they are rolled up out of the way. You can see we have our central dividing curtain. Uh, if it isn't required, it's easily removable. We've got all the flooring inside and the flooring creates a, a sump where all the dirty water is collected. And in the far corner, we have a, a pump which is sitting down inside the floor to be able to pump all the dirty water through the containment in the black tank. Um, as you can see inside, we have some shower attachments. Again, um, a normal shower gun. And we also have the, the brush. And these are on demand. We've also got a control point on the inside which can be closed to shut off the shower nozzles so only the gun or the brush can be used at any one time. If you then open this valve again then the jets will also come into play. Uh, so you've got the option of um, a, a much more controlled wash down or a, a drenching. Previous designs, each window has a privacy blind on the outside. So if, uh, if there is anything that needs to be covered up on the inside, then the windows, the outside window blind can be rolled down and fixed. Then the inside is completely private. And as part of the construction of the shelter, we've got um, an attached ground sheet. So this whole thing is attached to the shelter all the way around. So ballast can be put on top of it to hold the shelter in position and there will also be guy ropes coming from each corner. It's the outer skirt though can hold the ballast like sandbags or water butts to hold the shelter in position. Okay, so we're going to talk through the actual setup of the clean water, the dirty water, the pump system and all the hoses in between. So the first thing we need to consider is the clean water tank and this can be filled simply with a hose connected here and once it's full of water you would then turn it off and the water is contained and now that we're ready to use it we can now put connect our pump and once our pump is connected we can then turn the water on You will need to make sure that some water is in the pump so the pump is primed and ready and able to pump it. So here's our clean water pump. So the clean water is coming in at the bottom area here and then the clean water is pumped out at the top. It's pumped to a junction. One side goes through the Dositron. And this is where we would hold our neutralizing agent or cleaning agent. And this would normally go inside the entrance half of the shelter. Because the first half is normally where all the decontamination and cleaning takes place. Which means that the outlet from the Dositron goes to the near side of the shelter, here. So when we engage the Dositron, we're now using the, the neutralizing cleaning agent and it is being used in the first part of the shelter. We can then turn this off if we don't need any more cleaning and then the clean water will just be going to the outside of the shelter. So the showers at this side are only delivering clean water to the users. They can then clean themselves off and then come out the clean side of the shelter. Okay, just a few words on inflation and deflation. It is always best to inflate the shelter from the end where the relief valve is. Uh, that way, as you inflate it, you can hear the relief valve operating. The inflate defla deflate valve has a, a cap on it and the hose connection that you need has also got a threaded end. So you need to put it in and turn it so it picks up the threads and it's, it's locked in place. And I'd like to show you um, a, a close-up of this valve, just so everyone understands how it works. 
This is the, the valve that's actually in the shelter. Uh, it's got a, a dust cap on it. This is not airtight, by the way, so you have to make sure that the valve is closed correctly when it's being used. The valve has got a, a spring-loaded core, which has got a, a red cross on it. And when the valve is closed, the red cross is close to the top of the valve like it is now. When it's open, when you need to deflate, you need to push it in and turn it to the left. And now it's locked open on the inside of the valve and now all the air will come out of the shelter once you finish the deployment.